Faster! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Just having some fun? <laughs> but don't you worry, Mrs. N. We were just about to leave. We'll be at my house, Lloyd. Bye. I did not say you could have friends over, Lloyd. Yeah, well, I, I decided not to bother you with getting permission, seeing as how you were so busy scrubbing the toilet. You're supposed to be cleaning your room. Just look at this place. It's a disaster. This rag is for scrubbing, not throwing. Aw, oh, come on, Mom. It's my vertumnal vacation. I don't want to spend it working. It's what we do every year, Lloyd. Shivanox is over. It's time to clean. So get to work. And please, for once, put yourself into it. Oh. Man, oh man, what a day. Not only did I have to scrub the baseboards and straighten out my closet, but get this, my mom actually made me vacuum. Yeah, so? That's not so bad. Allow me to add, big whoop. What's wrong with you guys? I thought you'd be laughing and having fun. Having fun? Right after we left your place, our moms made us come home and do our chores. Have you ever dusted, Lloyd? Have you? It's... it's... Dusty! I spent the last three hours painting our mailbox! Yes. Well, at least you boys are finished with your chores. Well, here I am, still in the midst of organizing our family photo albums. What a mess! This album is supposed to document our vacation to Brainavia. Instead... <laughs> Oh, one of my baby pictures. Hey, Douglas, you were cute. Aw, I think he still is. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> this is no laughing matter. Baby pictures have no place in this album. Greetings, y'all. Wonderful. And here we have farm pictures. Since when were you a farmer? That's not me. That's my cousin Jeb. <laughs> Look, this Jeb guy's actually got a swing made from a real tractor rocket. Yeehaw! He's got his own swimming hole. Woohoo! He's catching frogs. Now they're going on a hayride. Listen to him, man. They're a picking and a fiddling. Howdy, fellow McNoggins. We're having a dandy old time. Y'all ought to come by and visit. Call us anytime. See you quite soon. Yes. Rub it in, country people. Frolic to your heart's content while I toil in the city. Hey, I wanted to see more. That place looks like fun. <laughs> I bet he spends half his time just skipping rocks and fishing. Yes, well, I wouldn't know. I've never been to their farm. Why not? Didn't you hear him? He said, come by any time. Hey, he did say that, didn't he? I suppose. Guys, that gives me an idea. Is it an amazing invention? Better. It's a way out of our crummy vacation. Douglas, it's time you gave your country cousin a call. Now, let me get a handle on this, cousin. You want to come out here to the farm? Now? All of you? Um, well, yes. May we? Why, sure. Fact is, now's the most fortuitous time. The Zoogleberries are just bursting from the bushes. Zoogleberries? Oh, boy! Just have your ma call my ma and we'll set it all up. See you real soon. Um, farewell, partner. My, that was easy. What'd I tell you? We'll be swimming, fishing, and stuffing our faces with Zoogleberries in no time. It's the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of Intrepidville. Well, yeah, except for one thing. It's just like Jeb says, we've got to set it up with our moms. And there's no way my mom's going to let me skip for terminal cleaning to go hang out on some farm. I cannot believe this! My mom is actually going to let me skip for terminal cleaning to go hang out on some farm. What could our mothers be thinking? Who cares? All I know is I'm chugging along in a real-life steam rocket. Just look at it. We're in the country where space stretches as far as the eye can see. We're not actually in the country yet. Now, approaching planet Moon Dog. But we sure are about to be. Now this is the country. Our galaxy's heartland. It's just like I imagined it. Look, guys, a beaver. That's no beaver. That's my cousin Jeb. Come on. Cousin. Cousin. Greetings, Uncle Vern. 
Jeb, Uncle Vern, these are my friends, Lloyd, Eddie, and Kurt. Howdy, station slickers. Hey, hey how's it going? Yeah. Welcome to Planet Boondon, boys. Hop on and strap yourselves in. Next stop, the McNoggin Family Farm. Well, boys, here we are. Grab your gear and Jeb will show you to the bunkhouse. Come and get it! Hot felicitations. We're just in time to eat. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, Mrs. McNoggin, that was the most delicious country fried fin bat I've ever eaten. It sure was. I heartily agree. It was tummy delicious. Why, well, thank you, boys. Praise from the heart does an old brain good. Then allow me to do your old brain even better, Aunt Theta. All of you, in fact. Granny? Hey! Billy Ray? Um, yeah! <clears throat> Fellow McNoggins, on behalf of my friends and myself, please allow me to express our sincere gratitude for your hospitality. Yeah, thank you. You guys are awesome! I love you very much! Why, heck, fellas, think nothing of it. It's we who should be thanking you. Thanking us? Your homespun rhetoric goes too far. Yeah, all we've done is eat your food. <clears throat> But you're very welcome. Tarnation, boys. Our food and hospitality are a minuscule price to pay. Indeed. Considering all the help you'll be. Help, you say? You seem to believe we'll be of help? Golly, fellas, don't be modest. Of course you will. Having you here during the big zoogleberry harvest is going to make picking them a whole lot easier. They say station boys are soft and lazy. You boys, prove them wrong. Heck, we know you could have done anything with your vacation. For you to come out here to do farm chores. Your mothers must be real proud to have such a hard-working group of sons. But we thought... I saw pictures. You people like to goof off. I know you do. Well, sure we do. After the chores are done on Saturday. Till then, it's work, work, work. As we say on the farm, cuz, hard work makes for great reward. I have a feeling this is going to be your most rewarding vacation ever. As we say in the city, my friends, it appears we are quite derfed. I'm gonna win! <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead! up, and it was only four in the morning! Ooh. Wow, that is scary! Simply dreadful! Why, shucks, that wasn't a nightmare! It really is 4 a.m. Up and at em. Uh, sorry, Jeb, but see, I kinda got this rule. I don't even eat breakfast till my stomach has had a good nine, ten hours of sleep. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. same same rule. <laughs> Why, if you station critters ain't a bushel of sheer amusement. No one eats breakfast before the morning chores are done. Come on outside and I'll get you started. This better not require much effort. Hey, fellas! All right, now over here we have the fin bats. Let's see, uh, Kurt, how'd you like to feed them? They've been feeding me so many years, I might as well feed them back! Dandy! Now, the first thing you need to do is open the gate here real carefully, or else old Sparky will get out. Sparky? Sparky! Oh, threat it all! Sparky's escaped again! Oh, no! Sparky! Knock that off, you scoundrel! You get back in your pen! Don't mind Sparky. He's just an old electric turkey. His beak burned holes in your laundry! Sparky enjoys making mischief, but you just stay away from him, keep your mind on your work, and you'll be fine. Okay. See you at breakfast, Kurt! Later, buddy! Good luck! Bye! Okay, just stay away from him and keep your mind on your work. Stay away from him and keep your mind on your work. Well, hey, little fella.
No, now look who's feeling sorry. <laughs> that does it! I'll never trust you again! <laughs> All right, boys, now for our next chore. <laughs> Ain't they superlative? Our prize herd of hover cows. Which one of you wants to milk them? Uh, I don't know. Not really the milking type. Well, milking is a rather elementary task. I should be able to finish it off quite quickly. Very well, cousin. Just remember, squeeze and pull. No need for lectures. I've read all about such things. Squeeze and pull. Douglas, no! It's okay, Zuzabelle. He didn't know any better. Cousin, you never milk a hover cow like that. You pull on her udder, okay? Ah, her udder. Of course. And here we have the last morning chore. This is one the two of you can do together. Whoa, hold on, Jethro. Helping around the farm is one thing, but there is no way I'm shoveling out your stables. Yeah, gross. Relax, brothers. I'd never ask you to clean out the stables. Shoot, that's dirty work. Oh, well, okay. That's more like it. No, I need you to slop the hogs. Buford, Zizzy Quacks! Suey, suey, suey! There you are, fellas. Good, clean slop. Go ahead and feed Buford two tons, but just a ton and a half for Zizzy Quacks. A ton and a half? We're slimming them up for the fair. Well, where's your shovel? Aren't you gonna help? Shoot, no. Thanks to y'all, I can go help Pa and Granny with the harvest. Yee-haw for you fellas. See you at breakfast. <sighs> well, I guess we could always look on the bright side. Bright side? What bright side? At least after we finish this, we'll get a nice big country breakfast. <laughs> Piping hot morning glorp. Glorp? Uh, no need for appetizers, Mrs. McNoggin. I'll skip straight to the flapjacks. Why, that's no appetizer, friend Eddie. That there's the meal. Chock full of wholesome starch. <laughs> Thanks, Billy Ray. Hmm, on second thought, <laughs> maybe I'm not so hungry. Better eat, boys. Glorp will give you strength. That's right, and you'll need plenty of strength for picking zoogleberries. Picking zoogleberries? Is that what we're doing next? Darn tootin'. Ah, then perhaps we can simply nibble a few berries while we pick. Oh, y'all can't eat fresh zoogleberries. They'll make you sick. We pick them pink, then they ripen at the market. Didn't you boys know that? Uh, no. But somehow, it doesn't surprise me a bit. <laughs> All right now, everybody got a bag. Yeah, I got one. Okay. Yeah, I've got one. It's pretty straightforward work, boys. Just move fast and let's get picking. Move fast? In this heat? I'll pick these dumb berries, but there's no way I'm moving. Ah! What the? What happened? It bit me! The bush bit me! As Pa says, fellas, you gotta move fast. We better warn Kurt and Douglas. No need to, boys. Although your assistance would be appreciated. Waste not, want not. Hello. Vern, it's me, Earl. Howdy, Earl. What's up? Plenty, Vern. Plenty. We got us an emergency. But, Uncle Vern, I'm still not quite sure I understand. Must you all go into Quagleyburg? Afraid so, Douglas. The produce freighter is leaving three days ahead of schedule. If we don't get those zoogleberries unloaded right quick, they'll never make it to market. But what do you want us to do? Keep an eye on the farm and finish harvesting those berries. Thanks, boys. We'll see you around sundown. What a 
an amazing turn of events. Here we are, four station boys, suddenly left in charge of a farm. Woohoo! Let's plow something! We're not supposed to plow stuff, Kurt. We're supposed to finish picking berries. <sighs> I suppose we should get started. Well, hey, wait a minute. If we're in charge of the farm, doesn't that mean we get to make the rules? I suppose. Well, then I say forget picking berries. Let's go have some fun. Now? Why not? The field's practically all picked anyway. We can go find that swimming hole, goof off for a couple of hours, and still have plenty of time to finish the job. Hey, I bet we could. Play first and work later. Your logic does sound impeccable. Eddie, you always have the best ideas. Indeed I do. Now enough yammering. The day's a-wasting. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, let's go. go. Like I said, boys, a little fun was just what we needed to get us through that crummy work time drudgery. Now all we've got to do is shuffle over, finish picking those berries, and... Huh? <laughs> I'm starting to think that bird can't be trusted. I told my Uncle Vern that we'd watch the farm. What are we going to do now? Boys, we've got no choice. It's time we rolled up our sleeves and concocted an enormous whopper. This is our fault, Eddie. Everyone's gonna know it. So what's your great plan? I don't know. Maybe we should try and put the farm back together like it was. You mean us? Come on, Lloyd. Do you have any idea how much work that would take? No, but I do know I'll get grounded for a year if my mom finds out about this. And I'll be branded a pariah by the entire McNoggin clan. Well, since you guys put it that way, I guess we could give it a try. We've got to! I think we should. All right, then. I reckon we best get started. Everything's back in order! 
You know something, guys? I'm sore, I'm dirty, and I'm tired. But I feel great. Yeah, it's like once you stop trying not to work and put yourself into it, it's actually kind of fun. Perhaps sometimes there's no greater reward than a job well done. Go figure. Who'd have thought? Yeah. Howdy, boys! Welcome back, McNuggins. How were things in Quagleyburg? Grim dandy. I'll go get supper started. Supper, all right! Even my blisters are hungry! There's nothing like an honest day's work to whet a man's appetite. An honest day's work, to be sure. We've been working honestly since the moment you left. That's right. We sure have. Uh -huh. Well, the farm looks fantastic. Thank you, boys, for looking after it. You betcha, sir. We knew you were counting on us. Nothing went wrong at all! <laughs> what is it, Beta? Look at there! <laughs> Well, er, um, I suppose the occasional problem might have arisen while you were gone. We were really sorry, 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 you can tell me all about it at supper. You're not gonna make us eat morning glorp again, are you? Oh, no. I've just figured out a meal which will be oh so much more satisfying. <laughs>